Hi, welcome to Believe the Bible. Today's lesson is just simply to make you aware of the fact that the Old Testament did not start in Genesis 1-1. Hmm. And the New Testament did not start in Matthew 1-1. Let's see when they started. If we look in the book of Exodus, Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar people unto me, above all people, for all the earth is mine. Verse 6, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So it wasn't until Exodus that the Lord was speaking to Moses that the covenant was given. Then you think, well, because our Bibles say the Old Testament on the first page and just before Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, it says New Testament, that that's considered to be the New Testament. But when we talk about the Testament or the covenant that God had made, he had made it with the people of Israel, and we can't neglect that. We have to understand that that's where the covenants were made. And in dealing with the New Covenant, it says this in Hebrews chapter 9. Well, you could read verses 10 through 17, but I'm just going to read verses 14 and on. Hebrews 9, 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge our conscience of dead works to serve the living God? And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgression that were under the first testament, they which were called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Speaking of Israel. Verse 16. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. Well, in Matthew 1.1, the testator, Jesus Christ, was still alive. So the new covenant, the new testament, as given to Israel, and it's expected to be, and still is a future event, uh, will be for the nation of Israel. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8 through 10. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Verse 9. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, that's the Jewish fathers, Israel, in the day when I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt. Can't miss that. That has to be the nation of Israel. Because they continued not in my covenant and regarded them not, saith the Lord. Verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel in those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. You can see by these verses, this has not happened yet. God has not put his laws and his ways in their hearts and minds. You know, go over to Israel, you could find that out pretty quickly. And, uh, and so the new covenant had not yet started yet, even as of today. But it is a future event. The covenant, the new covenant, the New Testament given to Israel by God will be a future event. The house of Israel and the house of Judah, that makes up the tribes of the nation of Israel. And it's with them that the new covenant is made. Some people think that the body of Christ is under the new covenant. We are not. Paul says we are able ministers of the New Testament, that being that the fact that Jesus Christ died, that is part of our gospel. But the covenant given into Israel and the promises made to Israel that will come to fruition in the future, they're just for Israel, not the body of Christ. And then all the nations, if you read Ezekiel and Jeremiah, you will see that all the nations will come to the Lord through the nation of Israel. So if you think the Old Testament started in Genesis 1-1, nope, that's not the case. It started in Exodus 19. And if you thought that the New Testament started in Matthew 1 1. Well, that couldn't have been because Jesus was still alive. And really, in the future is when the New Testament or covenant is made with Israel. 
it hasn't been made yet. Just because your Bible is labeled such things, then don't believe everything that's not inspired in your Bible. Like the book of Hebrews, a lot of them will say the book written by the Apostle Paul, and Paul we know did not write the book of Hebrews. We don't know who did write it, but we know who didn't write it, and that was Paul. You can see my video on who wrote Hebrews uh, to explain that. So why does this matter? You know, does it really matter where the Old Testament and New Testament start and who it's for and who it's not and who it includes? Well, yes, it does, because if you think you're Israel and you are going to claim the promises that God made to Israel, you're not only mistaken, you're going to be disappointed. We need to rightly divide God's Word so we can understand what was written to us and about us. Even though all of God's Word is for us, we can get learning from it admonition, comfort, peace, understanding from all of God's Word. But not all of God's Word was written to and about us, the body of Christ. About 94% of God's Word is actually about the nation of Israel. It's a big number. Thanks for your time. You have a great day.